The border crisis coming to President Biden's doorstep. Governor Greg Abbott making good on his promise to send illegal immigrants from Texas to Washington. The first bus dropping migrants off just blocks away from the Capitol. Abbott's move coming days after the Biden administration announced it would put an end to Title 42, which gave border agents the authority to quickly turn away large groups who tried to enter illegally due to COVID concerns. And now the chaos at the border is only going to get worse. One estimate says 140,000 migrants are waiting to cross once Title 42 is lifted. Jesse, I was, I have to say, I, I wasn't sure since it was, has to be voluntary uh, if these migrants would say, yeah, sure, I want to go to Washington, D.C., and be dropped off at the steps of the Capitol. And sure enough, Lucas Tomlinson, our reporter, was there watching it. There they are getting off the bus. Looked like they had a, like a decent ride. And it's not, it's not these migrants' fault. It's that we, just, we, have no, we have no system. Well, and Abbott dropped them off right in front of the Fox Bureau. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smart move by Governor Abbott. He knows what he's doing there. Uh, and a couple of these guys are from Venezuela. They, they said, all right, fine, I'll go to D.C. You know the first thing they did when they got to D.C.? They registered as lobbyists. <laughs> first thing they did. And they're at Cafe Milano right now trying to twist Mansion's arm on Build Back Better. I swear yeah. to God. Not Capitol just, Grill? Very, very. They're going there tonight. The L'Oreal Plaza and this for, They dress so nicely athleisure. One guy had matching Nike head to toe. The kicks were clean. If you're fleeing a war-torn country seeking asylum, you think you're going to die, and you show up looking that good, no, no one's going to buy as that. as soon as they get here, we dress them. We put those we clothes on these phone. people. Oh, come on, Americans don't dress this well. They don't give it to Look us. Look at that guy's shirt. Look at the guy's skinny jeans. I, I, you but can't show is, up to America claiming you're fearing for your life dressed that well. It's not going to fly. And especially, they fly. don't like stunts. They, you know, Biden says, oh, we don't like stunts. The Democrats love stunts. Nancy's ripping up Trump's State of the Union. They're laughing their butts okay. off don't when they mean, do the Trump blimp. Oh, that's so funny. Come on. Don't you we remember, need this stunt to shame the president. Remember the Texas Democrats who fled? Oh, no, yeah. That, no, that, no, that, I don't like that, stunts yeah. at all. That was no, a stunt. Not at all. Yep. Here's the other thing, Greg, that... that they get here, and then they just get to go wherever they want. I know. This is, I mean, it is a contrast to what's happening with Ukraine, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah we, we, we admitted legally aw. 12 Ukrainians last month. 12. Yeah, 12. Yeah. I mean, why is my mother-in-law not on that bus? Good point. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's an interesting, <laughs> this immigration problem is the same issue with crime and inflation. It's, it's, the problems get worse because they're not exposed, because the media acts as like a consequence blanket. They just throw themselves over the outcomes of the ruinous policies. And, and the, again, the malignant neglect never gets covered. So what Abbott does, which is very clever, is he kind of forces them to cover it, right? He, he sends the migrants to D.C. And the media outside Fox is in a quandary. Do they cover this? Which means in their audience sees the original problem, the original neglect. Or do they ignore it and just mm -hmm. Abbott continues with his Send plan, them. which connects the D.C. population directly with their destructive policies. So it's a very clever, I don't even think it's a stunt. I think it's a smart move. It looks like the, the migrants are happy to be here. They, I, I can tell that they were smiling with their eyes. Mm, yes. <laughs> They're smizing. They're <laughs> smizing. It's, everybody's learning to do that now with the mask. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm just glad they're wearing masks. Yes. Geraldo. Well, I, I think that uh, Governor Abbott is a great stuntsman. I, I, I think that it's not uh, necessarily a negative. He's doing, he's, he's doing what he thinks is right for the, his constituents in Texas. I think between uh, Abbott and the drones, there's no averting our eyes. It's an enormous, enormous uh, problem on the southern border. There's, uh, there's no getting around the fact. You mentioned Venezuela. You can mention any of uh, 200 countries People want to live in America. Everybody wants to live here. You need some kind of system uh, that regularizes, that normalizes. I make one, one point. Here we were in this vast city. You had this one incident with this, uh, this knucklehead, this uh, terrorist there. When was the last time you heard of an undocumented immigrant committing a horrible crime? Oh. They are disproportionately law-abiding other than the offense of coming well, across the board. One of them killed Are Kate Steinle. Yeah. Well, there's one, the, one of them. And the DUI. Of, you know, one of them. Just hacked up a bunch of people along the way. What about no. the per capita? What about the fact that... So how, you want to admit 20, 30 million are here? No, I don't want to, but I want you to know that these people, as you see, 
only want to come and work. How about the Unlike Latin many Kings? Native how about Americans, MS-13? They want to work. They we want just to, read about MS-13 chopping up people. Based. We had to tell them who once they were by a, their once own ontology. In a while, once in a while. One murder <laughs> is too many. Well, well then, go Judge. after this. We do. Judge, can I add one thing? Every... Can I say something? Yes, I was just going to add. Should I just add a point, and you can dismiss it if you want? <laughs> um, so. Apparently, this plan, though, is already working for the communities that were asking Abbott for help, the communities in Texas. Mm-hmm. Apparently, according to the uh, Fox News report, they, uh, the, many of those communities are reporting already that the federal government has stopped dropping immigrants in their towns since Abbott announced this. Yeah. No, it's about time. I think it's a good so thing. So maybe not just a stunt. I th- it's not a stunt. I think the ranchers have taken the, the bulk of the, the, the problem here. They're getting their trespass. I've been down there three or four times. They're trespassing on their property. They're frightening people. The fences are, are broken. They've got drugs. They've got human trafficking. They've got little children running around. Let's not, let, let's not party this up. But here's my favorite part. I was reading the news today. And the, uh, the director of Coalition for the Defense of Migrants says that the U.S. government has provided preferential treatment to the Ukrainians. Aww. Can you imagine? <laughs> is That's just so unfair. I mean, they are people who really need Actually, asylum. Can I- now, and let me just finish. And you said we need a system that with regularities and that normalizes. Right. We have a system. It's called the immigration system. Yeah. <laughs> it's called you get a visa, you get a lawyer, you wait your turn in line, you swear allegiance to the United... No, I'm not going. You yeah. swear allegiance to the United States of America, and then maybe we'll let you in line. And if you can take care of yourself and your family. And I'll tell you where the next bus should go. I wanted to go to Nancy Pelosi's house. San Fran. I have to defend Geraldo on this part because, ah. because later in the show, we're going to be doing something on California having a four day exact wake. And we're going to be seeing more of this universal base income. The people on that bus are going to be the people who are actually going to be working. They are. As opposed, these people are as opposed to Americans. We're having yep. a serious problem hiring. Yep. Even here. Yep. Everywhere we go, people are having a hard time finding people yep. that will take a job. Yeah. Yep. When are you going to talk about the, the, the delivery guys, the dishwashers, the babysitters, the lawnmowers? Geraldo, I you just know, say, uh, let them in they... legally. If they come here, they get the papers, you let them in. They can't just walk in and say, yeah, I'm here, and, now and we're and working. I bet each of them had some kind of uh, NGO, mm-hmm. some kind of... Uh, uh, you know, organization sponsor. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.